Yeah, they have the crew. Sadiq Oak Humberto. Don't worry. Fuck. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you... so fucked we are so fucked oh my god no the one time i actually go the aggressive route and it, it gets me fucked over just as much as it oh my god i fucking love this game <laughs> you do to randall i will do to them do you understand well That was a full body shiver. <laughs> hey, girl. I would speak with you. you what, what am I... <laughs> what am I meant to do here? Please tell me I'm not meant to be, like, edging the toast. <laughs> I can't believe it came out of my mouth. <laughs> you're, you're joking, right? Like, come on. So I'm gonna go look at the bugs. <laughs> Jeez. I pinned them all myself. Maybe I should show you sometime. What, are you gonna pin me to the wall? Oh, please do. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have had- I shouldn't have had the, the vine. I'm sorry! Tell me they don't die. Important notice. These dogs <laughs> are not dead. They are only sleeping. No <laughs> animals were harmed during the production of the this game. The timing of that. The timing. I don't know, man. They look pretty dead to me. Shoot. Oh, no. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Hey, Fallen! You got the first today. User didn't <laughs> steal it from you. All right, quotes. I forgot to add the quotes from the um the previous, I think, one or two streams. I'll have to do that later. How are you doing, Fallen? I have the finest herbal. The finest herbal cocktail. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I put some ice in it and put it in a little jar. I'm trying not to tip it over because, like, at home, I was at my parents' place the past couple of days. I tipped over a jar. Uh, a jar? Uh, I tipped over a glass of Pepsi right onto my keyboard, which is thankfully somewhat waterproof. But I, I would prefer to not repeat that. Yes, the finest herbal extracts. <laughs> I'm sorry. But this this is a pretty uh pretty popular drink here. It's called Kokta. So yeah. 
Uh, thankfully, the Pepsi was sugar-free, so it didn't. It doesn't get that sticky. Wait, when did I? S oh, yeah, I did say sorry. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what did we pick up last time? We picked up a library card and a poetry book. Poems for Ill-Fated Lovers by Edmund Plum. Graham's monkey will keep our little secret. Graham's e. monkey, P. huh? What on earth does that mean? Maybe I should ask Ms. Hamilton about it. <laughs> the last thing I picked up was a bo bottle of cock. <sighs> Cockta. It's Ms. Her. Hamilton. She's worked here for over a thousand years, mm -hmm. probably. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Miss Hamilton. Shh. Do you know a Graham who may or may not have had a monkey? That, that is one hell of a question. Do you know a Graham who may or may not have had a monkey? <laughs> you must be referring to Saint Graham. He was the patron saint of Moon Logic. Not there Moon are so Logic! Many obscure happenings in the local area. They named the village church after him. Thanks, I'll check it out. I'll add the church to my map. Who are you talking to? No one. Well, be quiet then. Wow. Bye. Okay, let's. Wow. Okay, let's go to the church. No, actually, it's not. I see tits! Yes! Can I feed them? Oh, there's a guy taking pictures of tits. I wonder if they're great, great tits. Or a different kind of tit. You want, I'm, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what are you doing? Gathering evidence. Evidence of what? I'm gonna catch the thieving blighters in the act. Thieves? That's right. You name it, they've nicked it. Hearts? Are you trying to be funny? Yes. The thieves I'm after are tits. Tits? tits? They lie in wait in this tree. Then no, I, my stomach's a bit queasy. And plunder so I haven't they can enabled lay their it. Thieving little beaks on jewelry, keys, money. Are you they sure you're not? Metal and shiny. Is he not mixing them down. up with magpies or all up on the church crows or something? Tits are not very known for stealing shit. The tits are leaving stuff on the church roof. Yep, there's probably a ton of ill-gotten gains up there. Please, may I borrow your camera? No way. It's the only way I'll catch them in the act. I've been petitioning the parish council to have the tits exterminated. See, no but they tits. Won't unless they have hard evidence. I I'll mean, catch if we have great. Lighters. You know what? No, I'm not going there. You know exactly where my brain was going with that thought. Nope. Nope. <sighs> That's an unusual hat. My pride and joy. You can't mention tits and then start going on about hard evidence, okay? I mean... Your hat is made out of tits? Your hat is made out of tits? One of this country's most prolific birds. I can't stand them, but the fellas do make good headwear. I think you'd get on well with my mother. Hmm. You really love that hat, don't you? Almost as much as I hate tits. They stole my last one because I was foolhardy enough to put a shiny hat pin in it. I had to drop what I was doing and chase them, but they took it up on the roof and I never got it back. Oh my I'm not God. making that mistake again. Bye. Goodbye. Oh my god. Fate under construction. Ooh. Come back later. Fingington Village Fate Committee. Is that? No. 
I'm not allowed to go any further. They're still setting everything up. Looks like they've what? managed to get the rain successfully installed, though. Wow. Hold on. A gang of tits. Nice tits. I'm sure they are. <sighs> St. Graham's Church is on that Jim hill. Right. Right. I need to update the gif that plays when I uh, when I have that redemption play. <laughs> I can I, I need to replace it with the one where I'm actually holding the melons in my hands. I do actually love tits. So the local park, there's there's lots of birds at the local park, right? Lots of tits. And uh, they actually really like uh, walnuts, sunflower seeds, unsalted, obviously, and you know. Um, so I do. I haven't been in a while. It's it's been really hot past two months anyway. Um, but once the weather is a little bit nicer, uh, I'll go back to taking weekend walks. I'm hoping to uh, post more more videos of the tits will literally eat off of your hand. It's beautiful. They're so cute. Unfortunately, you tend to, when you're feeding birds, you usually tend to attract pigeons as well. Those motherfuckers actually hurt when they land on your hand. Yeah, the tits will... The tits will eat seeds out of my hand. Yes. I see what you did there. There's a village fate today, apparently. I thought that was a work email. Sorry. <clears throat> right, funny looking tree. It's all spiky. I wonder what species it is. <laughs> Pretty purple flowers with bright yellow stamens. Named after the patron saint of Moon Logic. I love the expression mo Moon Logic. The windows of our church depict the legend of St. Graham, as told by the 16th century poet Ernest Danglebury. Danglebury? There's at least 10 copies per member of the congregation. Nothing says help the needy like a literal gold, gold platter. Oh my god. Okay. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! <laughs> pew pew pew! <laughs> Okay. Looks like they missed one. <laughs> Isn't you? <laughs> you missed some great tits. <laughs> How are you doing? Trust me, you don't want to hear me sing. Well... <clears throat> it shows a blue dragon breathing red fire on a load of brown earth. It shows two white snowy mountains being lit by yellow sun rays. Why do I have the feeling the colors are gonna matter? It shows a blue moon shining on a load of red poppies in a yellow desert. Hmm. She looks ancient. I'm sorry. That's rude. <laughs> Hello, Hello there. there. What? No tits for you. I mean, I can show you some tit. Wait, no. I meant the birds in the game. I'm just putting my foot into my mouth today. I'm sorry. I, I said hello there. What? I'm sorry, okay? Can you hear me? Stop mumbling. I said, can you hear me? There's no need to shout. I should have seen that one coming. Hang on. I'll turn my hearing aid up. God damn it. Uh, have you heard about the tits? Have you heard about the tits? Did Brian put you up to this? He's bloody obsessed with them. Though, if he's right, there's probably tons of valuable stuff up on the church roof. Shame there's no way to get it down. The roof's completely inaccessible. Are you sure? <laughs> wow, Fallen. Wow. Do you know anything about bread or baking? What? 
Because I'm an old woman, I obviously know how to bake. Well, do you know how to bake? Of course I do. But I'm an appalling teacher. You're better off finding a good recipe book instead. Do you know anything about a monkey? Do you know anything about a monkey? Don't be absurd. Unless, of course, you mean the monkey puzzle tree outside. Monkey puzzle that tree? That sounds like just the kind of vague and ambiguous hint I was after. Thanks. What? Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so where's the vicar? Where's the vicar? He's down at the village fete. Probably in the W.I. I thought she was going to say he's probably Paula staring Holy at some tits. Rude. Who's Paula Hollyrood? Who's Paula Hollyrood? She's some kind of bacon celebrity. Oh. She goes on TV and tells other people how rubbish their <laughs> macarons are. I'm better than tits. Thank you. Why is the vicar interested in Paula Hollyrood? Something to do, to do with, with the WI's jam competition. Oh. Plus, she has other assets. <laughs> yep, tits. <clears throat> what are you doing here? I come to listen to the bells. They're so quiet, I can only hear them if I sit right here at the front. I'm sure they used to be louder. Or your hearing used to be better, but sure. Do you want me to ring the bells for you? Oh, that would be lovely. But only if you know the correct order. What order? I don't like change. Also, don't overuse the large one. It's only quiet, but it makes the old church shake. Last time somebody rang it, a gargoyle fell off the roof and almost hit the vicar. So that might shake stuff off the roof? Do you know what order to ring the bells in? Sorry, no. All I know is they tell the story of St. Graham and his unnecessary demise in the Sierra Mountains. Sierra Mountains. Oh, hold on. Bye! <laughs> Ta-ta! We'll come back to that. Um, let's see. Making vicars taller since the 9th century. Amazing. I'm sorry, I'm I'm like an A cup. I there's no tits to speak of. So I I I, I, I do I do enjoy a nice uh tit joke though. St. Graham's Big Bell, please only ring at end of sequence. Overuse may cause damage to church roof. Ooh, hold on. Colors. I've, I've, I've seen these colors, but... It shows a blue moon blue. shining on a load of red poppies in a yellow red, desert. Red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow. It shows two white snowy mountains being lit by yellow sun rays. Uh... It shows a blue dragon breathing red fire on a load of brown earth. Blue, red, brown. Okay. So blue, red, yellow, white, white, yellow, blue, red, brown? Question mark? Is it even this in this order, though? Cause that, mm, maybe I'm wrong. It's a blue... Let's try it, actually. Kentucky Freud chicken? <laughs> and it's motherfucking good! Oh my god! Wow. Uh, blue? It rings one of the church bells above. Okay, hold on. Blue? Red? Yellow? White? White? Yellow? And then blue? Red? And I hope brown? Oh, brown noise. <laughs> 
Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I think I just heard something fall off the roof. Well, I'm glad I got this in a reasonable amount of time. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Don't mind if I do. Possessive little blighters. Wow! See a pin, pick it up, and all day long you'll have a pin. <laughs> uh, that's not how we play Jingle Bells. You know, I actually used to be able to uh, play some Christmas music on the violin back in the day, when I still played the violin. I already picked it up once. He's trying to take photos of the chip. He'd notice if I did it now. Wait, what do I do with this though? Hold on. Not again! Give my heart back, you little yes. bitch! After all that, he ran the wrong way. What a plonker. Plonker is such a funny word to me. Okay. Okay. Paranoid camera? Instead of Polaroid, it's paranoid? That's amazing. I think we need a picture of ourselves for the uh, library card. Selfie time! Oh, looks like that was the last photo. The perfect crime, as long as no one looks at the name, or the date of birth, or the badly adhered and ill-fitting photograph. I wonder if it'll be enough to fool Satan. Yeah, let's go fool Satan. Let's go to the library. <clears throat> So, oh wait, um... Right, let's give it a go. Welcome, Karen. Oh my god. I am Karen. The Karen? Karen? <laughs> I'm a Satan machine? God damn it. Incorrect. Goodbye, Edmund. I need to find out this Edmund guy's pin number. Poems for ill-fated lovers by Edmund Plum. Graham's monkey will keep our little secret. E.P. What on earth does that mean? Maybe I should ask Miss Hampleton about it. Graham's monkey? Huh. She's busy stamping. Hello, Miss Hambleton. Shh. What can you tell me about that book your soul was yearning for? Oh, my dear Edmund. He was a local poet and a fine, fine man. He'd write the most beautiful poems just for me. Then one morning, he boarded a tree and never came back. He sent the library that book and his membership card before he died. What can you tell me about that book your Aww. soul was yearning for? Oh, my... He was... He'd read... Okay, hold on. Um... Bye. Shh. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, how do we figure out what his, um... I'm now the official place of Mr. Edmund Plum. Deceased. How do we find... the pin number, though? <laughs> Excuse me. So we already got the, um... Let's try that again, actually. I should probably return the book I'm borrowing first. Oh, never mind then. Um, I 
don't know what to do to get the pin number though. Hmm. Wait, let's let's go back to the church, see if we missed anything there. But yeah, I can't show the tits to anyone anymore. They're gone. The tits are gone. I'm not allowed to go any further. This looks like they've managed to get Okay, still can't go there. Cool. Let's uh, go back to the church. So this is the monkey mentioned in the book. Might be Someone's something to do with this. Their initials onto it. J H loves E P. So this is the monkey. Someone's carved their initials onto it. J H loves E P. There's a little patch of bare earth next to it. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's see what secrets you're keeping. I hope, the trousers I hope it's not. Don't fall down. I hope it's not dog poop. An old biscuit tin with a photograph well, inside. It's, not... <coughs> it's a black and white photograph of a young couple. They both look a bit familiar. They both look but possessed. their eyes have been cut out. Creepy. Ah. Uh... It's a black and white photograph of a young. They both look a bit familiar. Hold on, I have an idea. I'll put it inside the book to keep it safe. If I line up the library stamp, the one zero one five. There we go. Maybe that's the time he was due to leave. It was obviously important to him. What are you doing, Femi? You've missed the test. Their love affair was a secret at the time. Oh my God! I need, I need to, uh, I need to clip that later. <laughs> so, how how are you doing, Femi? We just figured out the pin number one zero one five. I think. Let's let's give it a go. I think it's gonna work though. What is your pin? Pin accepted. Yes, now now we need the Disney ferret. Searching. At least they didn't go with Disneyland. Search. <clears throat> Loading results. Have a satisfactory day. Uh Did Disney Ferret murdered. Let's go let's go one by one. Fergus Fig, the man behind the ferret. Fergus Fig, son of Archibald and Lucille, the late Lord and Lady of Fig Hall, intends to channel his inner mustelid in an attempt to promote his, inner, his latest inner venture, what now? Disneyland, a new theme park to be built on the Fig estate. Uh -huh. The park has sparked controversy amongst local residents and invited <laughs> anger from other members of the Fig family, not least from Fergus's brother Horatio, who's been nothing if not vocal about his objections. When interviewed, Horatio Fink described the plans as a load of bloody bollocks. Damn. Okay, let's try the second one. <clears throat> Here's the rest of the article that was sent to me. Disley Ferret Murdered. The director of Figgington's controversial new theme park, Disneyland was Disneyland. found murdered the day before the grand opening. He was discovered dressed up as the park's mascot, the Disney Ferret. However, police are still searching for the missing head of the costume, as they believe it may help lead them to the head of the director, mm. which was also missing. As most readers will be aware, the park's director was none other than Fergus Fig and police suspect foul play within the ranks of the Fig family itself. No. Fergus's brother Horatio now the prime suspect for his murder. Police are asking locals for any information leading to Horatio's whereabouts. After he disappeared following a brief police <clears throat> interview on the night of the incident. How curious. No way. Murdered by his own brother. Actually, I, I was going to say... That, 
I'm still not sure why this article was sent to me. Her brother is a maniac. I should probably check out the also, old fig mansion and see what I can find out. Check out what I'm I'll drinking today. To my map. Yes, it, it's nice. It's a. Uh, it has no caffeine and no sugar, <clears throat> and it's pretty pretty decent. Okay, one more article. New evidence in murder case. The mystery of the Disley Ferret murder continues, but new evidence has now come to light, and things are not looking good for Horatio Fig. Already the prime suspect, Horatio's prolonged disappearance only compounds his guilt. But as if that wasn't enough, new DNA evidence places Horatio at the crime scene. Oh, does it and now? And a subsequent search of Fig Hall has uncovered an antique dueling sword with Horatio's prints on the handle and Fig's blood on the blade. Add in Horatio's famous temper, fondness for drink, <clears throat> and overall instability. And you don't have to be Nancy Drew to put the pieces together. There's now a substantial reward for any information leading to Horatio's capture. <laughs> the parish council have also agreed to erect a memorial erect. statue to Fergus in the town centre, in recognition of the fact that he tried to put Figgington on the map for something other, other than, than witch burning. Oh gosh! Oh. I cannot I hear. Check out this statue <clears throat> and see what all the fuss is I about. I cannot hear the word I'll add the town erect my map. without giggling and then thinking of the song by Powerwolf uh, that's called Resurrection by Erection. Which. Yeah. I, I would highly recommend that band to you if you like power metal, though. Pretty decent. <clears throat> what would you like to do now? Let's go. Goodbye, Edmund. You're you're the opposite of innocent. Alright, let's go You for you pre <laughs> You prefer power bottoms over power power metal? Power bottom and rock bottom Uh has been hotel, huh? <clears throat> okay, let's let's go to the town center first. I feel like my voice is going a little bit. Oh, not wasps. Wasp magnet. Oh, they were so annoying today. Uh, I got swarmed by them when I got off the train, basically, in the morning. Mm, I could go for a Cornestra or a Xoom right now. What the fuck is a Xoom? Looks like they're open. Missing cat, last seen by the docks. Green boat for sale, seats too comfortably. Hmm. Have you seen our owl? Call Lear's Raptor Sanctuary. Damn. Derek O'Rean lived here 1985 to 1885. Wait, what now? Minus a hundred years? <clears throat> it's rubbish. There's litter all over the place. Yes. Okay. Let's um <clears throat> let's go in. Magazines. Lounge Lizards Weekly. Perky Blinders. Perky Blinders Pent Up Magazine. Oh for fuck's sake. That that's a good one. Paul the Hollywood visits Figgington. He's brimming with job satisfaction. Is he now? Sweets. Bowl. It's for measuring out pick <clears throat> and mix. A thousand dismembered Berties. Oh, sorry, what now? A selection of pastel coloured 3D primitives. Snakes. Why'd it have to be snakes? Gummy worms, though. <clears throat> sugar flavored sugar coated with sugar. Sugar flavored sugar coated with sugar. That's amazing. <clears throat> Mini gummy illusions. The most terrifying snack around. Orange flavor fruity shooties. They're fruity well shooties? past their expiry date. Fruity He's shooties. Not even looking at them when he prices them up. 
These things taste bad enough when they're in date. Let's, let's talk to him. Hi there. Yar. Did, did he just rotate his... Eh? Uh, how could you do that with your head? My mum ate too many jelly babies while pregnant. And now I'm super flexible. I'm not sure that's how human development no, works. No, no, it's not. I'm super yeah, flexible, but... I but... wouldn't know about that. No, I guess you wouldn't. So, you, you, you guys have probably seen it before, but uh, I can show you. This is uh, how much my fingers bend backwards. That's not the only joint that can do that, so... Mm. What are you doing? These bottles have expired, so I'm reducing them. Gummy worms. <laughs> no, my mom did not eat jelly <laughs> candy. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? What's in the bottles? Orange flavored hey, fruity sir. shooties. Fruity These ones shooty. are really old, but they've not updated the packaging <clears throat> in years. Same old bottles. How much are you reducing the drinks by? The boss said to make them 50% off. But I think that's way too cheap. So I've set them to 100% off instead. What great initiative. I'm sure your boss will be doing Wait, so he's it. making them free? He'd think so. But he says I don't really have a head for business. You don't say. You're a dab hand with that pricing Amazing. gun. I know, right? I don't even need to look while I do it. Bam, price it up. Bam! Reload! Bam! Price it up again! Bam! Reload! Bam! Price it up again! Yeah, we, Bam. we, we get the point. Yeah, I get the picture. <laughs> All without even looking. <laughs> so we'll, we're probably... You never get your hands on a real firearm. <laughs> Slip him something too. Bam! To... God help us all. Good lord. Bye! Catch you later. Ugh. Hmm. Pleasure bombs. Canix tea fakes. Milky bob knobs. The debates rage on. Bakes. Are they a flan or a flatbread? These used to be 47 inches across. Damn shrinkflation. Exceedingly green. Goodbye magazine. Shepherds buy. Ovine News and Classifieds. Do her up weekly for lovers of fine bodywork. Do her up what now? According to the thermostat, it's warmer inside the fridge than it is out here. They form part of the magenta food group, the nation's favourite cola brand. Bottled cow juice. Bottled cow juice. Cordon's gin. You'll either love it or loathe it. Why would I want one of these? I don't know. <clears throat> let's um let's go talk to this guy first. Manufactured by Toothrot Inc. Joey and Chandler. Joey and Chandler? Really? Really? Beefy pie. Napalm and lime. Lamprey cocktail. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's let's talk to <clears throat> let's talk to this guy. Day, Mr. Shopkeeper, sir? No, it really isn't. What's so bad about today? Well, let's see now. First, I arrive at work and discover some little git has graffitied my shop. Next, I discover a whole crate of expired products in the back which should have been sold months ago. Amazing. I then have to spend the entire morning explaining how to use a pricing gun to Clint flipping eastward over there. <laughs> and now an annoying squirt in dungarees is asking me pointless questions. And how threatening rude. to knock over all my stock with her inexplicably massive pigtails. What Amazing. can you tell me about the Fig Brothers? Isn't that a video game? I can see this isn't going to be one of those quest-furthering conversations. Maybe you're just not asking the right questions. Okay then, have you got any hints? Yeah, try not to knock anything over with that ridiculous hair. Thanks. Wow. You're a great help. 
Bye. Bye. Come again. Or don't. Makes no odds to me. Wow. I wonder why I have exp you have expired stock. Staff only. I'm not allowed in there. Okay. Let's have a look around. Wait. Now, what kind of moronic little twerp could have done this? Oh, I it's her brother. Parents. It's her brother's name. What is she doing? She's dismantling a blueberry muffin. What? What? Um, excuse me. Oh, what do you want? You're dropping blueberries all over the pavement. You're dropping blueberries all over the pavement. Oh no! Call the police. Okay. Do you know where I can find a statue of Fergus Fig? The only statue I know about is at the other end of this street. You mean the street you're blocking? Do you see any other streets around here? Okay. Please, could I get Please. past? I am trying to feed an hungry child. Get some perspective. With a muffin? What are you feeding her? She only eats blueberry muffins. But why are you taking the blueberries out then? Delicious. I've heard blueberries are a superfood. Yeah, well they're super annoying to pick out. She only likes the cakey bits. Then get a Couldn't muffin. Could you just buy a plain muffin exactly. and save yourself the hassle? You don't have a lot of experience negotiating with toddlers, do you? Why are you negotiating with... Well, t to an extent, maybe, but like, that, that what? Is it still a blueberry muffin if the blueberries are all over the pavement? I didn't say she likes blueberries. Just blueberry muffins. What? Right, of course, but if you could just see your way to... I ain't moving until she's finished her muffin. How long does that normally last? Her previous record is 80 minutes. 80 minutes? Is there any way to speed things up at all? You could be a good citizen and get her a drink. What does she like? What does she like? She's two. What do you think? Milk? An organic wheatgrass smoothie. An organic wheatgrass smoothie? I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> she drinks a fruity shooties like any oh self-respecting Oh my god. Toddler. Right. Bubblegum flavour is her favourite. Naturally. Of course it is. Bye. <laughs> Bubblegum fruity shooties. Bye. Amazing. Retrocon. Fun times. Okay, let's go. Uh, I think... <sighs> Maybe we can... According to the thermostat, it's warm. Hold on. Let's pick up a bubblegum fruity shooties. One. Whoa, these things are expensive. But I might be able... Oh, hold on. I wonder if he'll notice. Yes! Don't mind if I do. Let's go buy it He's for free. Brimming with job satisfaction. This one's a hundred percent off. Can I take it? Oh, Gordon Bennett, not again. Fine, take it. Yeah. Thanks. The drink sounds interesting. There, there's actually recently a. Uh, User might know it. You know fruits, right? The the uh, the brand of uh, juice. They recently uh, uh, they have one that's I think it's meant to be bubblegum flavored as well, and it does actually smell quite like you know old school bubblegum. It's interesting. Bit too sugary for me, but I, I did try one a, a half liter bottle recently. I found this. What capture? Now, wow. out of my way. Are you welcome? And I'm sure someone else will pick up your mess. Yeah, I don't the... even know who I'm talking to. She's long gone. Can you blow? I can. You cannot blow bubbles with it now. It brings in the villages more classy. Punters. Oh, I miss blowing bubbles. It's so much fun. It looks closed. 
568 milliliters of joy. That is a very specific number. No thanks. The ferret's head. I wonder what kind of food one can expect from an establishment like this. I'm gonna assume shitty burgers and fries. Protect our weasels. We're totally committed to totally. saving mustelids. Totally My committed. My recent sprays, they'll really have their work cut. Amazing. Looks like a solid gold fertility idol to me. The tag says three pounds. I thought it would be lighter than that. <clears throat> Supporting weasels from the comfort of your pocket. Amazing. Make what a donation this? and help yourself to an item in this bucket. I don't think we have anything we could use as a donation, though. Wait! Day of the Tentacle? Oh, look. A tentacle. What a surprise. Yeah, what a surprise. The label says made in Anticonia. A lobbly should mobbly. I want a lava lamp. I wonder if I should buy myself one. It would look really nice on my desk, I think. It's kind of chill to like watch it move. A selection of used stationery. You are a Rubik's Cube? Puzzled it's a Cube. Genuine Kubrick's Cube. Kubrick's made Cube. In 2001. The actual Rubik's Cube uh, has been around for a while. It, it's actually from Hungary, though. Semi this decent thing to run in winter. Yeah, I, I might actually buy myself one. Can can we? This cube looks cool. I know. Can I have it? Why on earth would I just let you take it? At least make a donation before you start taking liberties. Fair comment. Aw, but I wanted to just like. Okay. Game chap? A uh, chap. It's still got a Zilda card. Zilda? In the back. Zilda? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean, user. By its own admission, there's literally nothing it can't hold. Hold all. For carrying hands around. Super Mario plant. I wouldn't want to land on that wearing only my dungarees. <laughs> Oh, that is a good reference, though. It's for collecting donations. Moth ventilated. It's full of old video games. Panic the Hedgehog. Panic Cold the Hedgehog. Black Fighter 2. Oh. And 76 copies of Mist. Oh my god, amazing. There's a red stain on the front. Weasel attacks. It's an old promotional map showing the location of the theme park. Looks like when it was demolished, our house was built on top of it. Unsurprisingly, oh, really? that's where the weasels are having a bad time at the hands of my mother. Okay. Let's, let's talk to this guy properly. Nice cap. Thanks. It's made of genuine fake weasel fur. Do you really love weasels? No, but volunteering looks good on my CV. <laughs> that's... that's a good point. What's the map on the wall? We use it to plot weasel-related incidents in the local area. What kind of weasel Tell me more. incidents? It used to just be the odd bit of roadkill or accidental stampings, but recently we've been seeing a more creative approach. Everything from garrote wire to landmines. What? You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Oh, it's her mom, isn't I'm it? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. That was a suspiciously evasive response. How do I make a donation? Just stick a coin in the collection tin on the counter. Then you can That's help yourself to an item from the bucket. To your I don't have any coins. Then the coveted hey, bucket of delights is beyond your reach. I found 10p just lying on the pavement the other day. Don't rub it in. Hold on, can someone give a shout out to Evie? I think I have it set up. Yes, there we go. Oh yeah, the graphics are lovely. I love pixel art. The game is very funny as well. 
lots of really good like old game references. Yeah, like I mean, Day of the Tentacle up here, for example. Uh, also Super Mario, stuff like that. Uh, it's really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. Anything new? No, none of it's new. Although we have got a nice bucket of odds and sods by the counter. All right. Bye. See ya. The chart show. It's crammed with cassettes, all dated individually. A lady bought them in a few weeks ago. Apparently, her ex-husband used to record music off a local radio show every week for years. Never paid for music in his life. She tried to give us his hi-fi too, but the pause button was completely worn out. So I've been listening to them on my Talkman instead. Talkman? Amazing. That is beautiful. A teeny tiny guitar. That is cute. Whoa, a whole megabyte. Whole of megabyte? Them. Oh, hold on. I just saw something. Is that the jacket? Is that Stan's jacket from Monkey Island? Whichever way I look at it, yes, the it is stays the same. Oh, perfect for stalking gazelle. Figgington Secondary's finest crimpoline. That is amazing. See what I mean? See what I mean? The family. There's so many references in this. It's really funny. I love that stuff. Dead smart. It's a pair of tattered three o ones. They take me back. I remember games being on floppy disks, okay? <laughs> a selection of used stationery. They're plastic. Okay, well, let, let's keep going. We'll, we'll get back to it. Fergus Fig. This monument was erected to commemorate the founder of Figgington's first and only tourist Monk attraction, Island is so good. Disneyland. Disneyland. This was relocated from the theme park before the site was redeveloped into one of Figgington's enviable housing estates. The statue depicts Fergus Fig at the moment of his dignified demise, headless and dressed as a ferret. <laughs> this machine must be ten years old now. <laughs> oh, amazing. It's full of fuzzy duck toys. They Please. remind me of the ducklings I used to feed in the park. They'd get a whiff of the bread in my pocket and just go into a frenzy. At least it's not swans, those... those... They can Vend for yourself. This I've been attacked by swans before, by the way. Except 10 gram nickel theme park tokens only. 10 oh, gram that's just brilliant. Tokens. I bet they're all long gone and buried with the theme park hmm. itself. There's a plaque in front of it. Fergus, okay. this monument was erected. Okay, we've read that before. Can I use... I'll probably need a theme park token hmm. to make it work. Canadian geese? Yeah, well... When I was a kid, and I still remember this, I, when I was a kid, I was uh, at the park with my grandparents. And there's a couple of ponds at the park. And we were just walking by. A swan grabbed my jacket and almost pulled me into the water. It was the middle of winter. So I, and then I've, I've had a couple of other close encounters with them over the years. So I, I suppose it's yeah. to protect the rear of the machine from wolves and the like. Wolves. Wolves? For parking cars. All right. Well, it's not open yet. This horrid blueberry is. They've been forcefully ejected from the food chain. Let's pick him up. Well, if no one else wants them. Right. Let's go to the other location then. Uh, winter? Oh, yeah. I mean, it depends. I think it was like. You know what? I don't remember how cold it was. I know it was cold. I don't know if it was like actual winter winter. But winters, it can vary. Uh, I think the coldest we had this winter was... It dropped down to minus 19 Celsius. Uh, but usually it doesn't drop that low. It, it goes a, a few degrees below um, freezing. Let's go to Fig Hall. Welcome to Fig Hall. But like a, a, a typical coldish morning would be like maybe minus five, minus six, minus seven. 
but I, I imagine your winters are a, a, a bit colder. <laughs> Is a tree. Nice, Fallen. Nice. It smells like dust and pensioners. Oh, come on. Ooh. A ridiculous gun. I think my mother would have fitted in well with this family. It's full of plastic logs. I feel like I've seen one of these before. A forest and a lake. I guess this is somewhere on the grounds. Ooh. Guides to Fig Hall. Can I pick one up? I don't need one. Oh well. Let's let, let's talk to the guy then. Hi. Nice desk. Thank you. It has everything I need to manage all our members' needs. Yeah, very mature, Fallen. Very mature. Can I take a look around? Sure. Do you have a membership card? My brother defiled my membership card. That's rotten luck. If you tell me your membership number, I can print off a temporary visitor pass for you. Mmm. How do I rem how do I get my membership number though? I can't remember my membership number. Sorry. You'll just have to try and remember it. I find that if I just lie back and work through things in my head, so maybe the in answer sleep. reveals itself eventually. If it helps, they all begin with HT. HT, huh? Can you tell me anything about the Thick Brothers? Esme's the expert on that sort of thing. Oh, that is terrible, Evie. I would, I would suffer so much. I don't tolerate cold that well. Remind me how to get- If you tell me your membership- Bye. Goodbye. Okay. They use it for checking membership details. Right, right. Welcome let's... to Fig Hall. Let's talk to this uh, woman as well. Uh... Suspicious looking old lady. Her name tag says Esme. I'm watching you. Yeah, that, that sounds terrible. Hello, Esme. Welcome to Fig Hall. Oh, it's nice to see young folk taking an interest in local history. What can you tell me about the Fig Brothers? Uh, if you've not got a visitor pass, I'm afraid I'm not authorised to tell you anything. Oh, God damn it! okay. Uh, so where can, where you get, can a I get a pass? A visitor pass? Are you a member of the Heritage Trust? I am, but Lloyd used my membership card to scrape his hamster off no, our driveway. No, not the I hamster! I already created one fake ID today. That's okay, dear. Just pop over to the desk and tell them your membership number. They'll print you off a temporary visitor's pass. Okay, so maybe we need to go sleep. I can't remember my membership maybe number. Maybe in our Don't sleep. Don't worry, it's in that little head of yours somewhere. I'm sure it will come back to you. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Watching. Uh, okay. What exactly are you watching? The rooms, my dear. I'm an official room watcher. Oh my gosh, okay. Do the rooms do anything worth watching? Do the rooms do anything worth watching? Not on my watch, they <laughs> don't. No ice creams dropped on the floor. <sighs> no oh, heaven forbid. No missed opportunities to show off the secret priest hole. The secret hole? No what? Bars is going walkabouts. Not while Esme Duckworth's on the case. Secret that, priest hole? I'm sorry? What? Oh, last stream I learned what the word... <coughs> Stopcock means. I had a bit of a giggle about that. <laughs> oh, you moved to- oh gosh, yeah. I mean, minus 30? Still better than minus 40. Who's Marjorie? <sighs> you mean who was Marjorie? She turned her back on her room to eat a curly whirly. And when she looked Not back- Not a curly whirly! Big family's antique vases oh wait, we've stolen. seen- 
She was out of here quicker we, than you we can We saw say. V somewhere, didn't we? eating a curly whirly and taking your eyes off the room while someone stole the antique vase. Wow. Wow. You really take this room watching seriously. The Heritage Trust is a very serious organisation. Oh yeah, by the way... They uh... spent a lot of money getting hold of this place. Although they never managed to get control over the old estate. Mm. Oh, one of the fake twins refused to sell it. I was gonna say, uh, the developers of this game uh, just finished a Kickstarter for their next one. Uh, I don't know if the late pledges are still open, but yeah, they're making a, diff a, a new game, which I'm pretty pretty excited to play once it's out. If I, I have a feeling it's gonna be more of this, and I, I'm I'm really enjoying the sense of humor in this. The fake twins. Oh yes. Didn't you know? Oh, I've said too much. Get a visitor pass, and I'll mm. tell you all I know. Bye. Okay, so Come I again think... soon. By the way, I heard the village fate is opening on the church grounds about now. They have a goosey nice. wallop stall. A goosey wallop. That's always worth a visit. So Thanks. earlier we were we were observing tits. Now we're we're about to whoop some uh, goose. Okay. Looks like they've managed to install localized rain for this localized year's event. Localized rain. That's considerate. Amazing. Mmm, sweet clouds. Yeah, there were uh, there were uh, <laughs> there were tits in the tree, and of course, you know, I c I couldn't help myself. Throwing game? You mean Overwatch? It's a cheap knockoff of another game. I mean, can I? I'd rather not. The plants look like they've been through enough already. Local police tent. Portaloo! A TARDIS of filth. A TARDIS of filth? Ah, uh, ooh, jam. Fiendton WI annual jam making competition. Let's talk to this guy. How much for a wallop? Hello there. Hey up, fancy a wallop. <laughs> How much is it for a wallop? One shiny brass pound for three wallops. I don't have any money. Then I suppose you need to find some if you want to wallop yeah. a goose anytime soon. Bye. Okay, Come back we need to find money. Oh my god. I love this game. I hope it's not a real bird. <laughs> Oh my god. Reserve for Miss Holly Road. Oh, the vicar! Jam. Cakes. Figgington Plops. A local no, speciality. No, it's poopies! Are you. Cakes? Question mark? I don't want to deprive the flies of their lunch. Figgington plops. Oh my god. A bacteria sponge. I think these are actually just rocks. Right. Looks like the vicar's already polished this one off. That looks like a winning contender. Look around before we talk to him. Biggington Women's Institute. Wow, Amazing. the bar is low this year. That look, that doll does look terrifying. Yes. Knitted abomination. <laughs> As if I didn't have enough nightmares already. A beautiful lace doily. The sign says, ask me about hair of the dog. That's that's the the new uh, game uh, they're making. Hair of the dog. Craft. Trumpets for bees. These were picked locally. You can tell by the thin sheen of misery coating. Oh, no, not the misery. 
Nothing says I love you like a fistful of prickly dying organisms. See? Yes! I actually agree with that. Very posh. Okay, let's talk to the vicar. Hello, vicar. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I've had a terrible headache recently. I think it's probably due to the church bells. There's a gang of tits stealing your congregation stuff. There's a gang of tits stealing your congregation stuff. Sadly, I know. Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do. But if you ring the large bell, their ill-gotten gains will fall off the roof. Thanks. Yeah. I could have done with that advice earlier. Yep. Can you tell me anything about the Fig Brothers? The Figs? Well, one of the Fig Twins oh, yeah, is I... a lovely, quiet fellow. I, I Wait, managed to kill even Pod. Oh, yes. I christened them both on the same day. Oh, did you? Horatio, on the other hand, was a bit unstable. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. But I'm not here to talk about work. I have jam to inspect. You're inspecting jam? That's right. Oh, really? I'm judging these preserves to find a winner. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I definitely agree with you uh, about that. I, I'm i not going to be upset if someone gives me some flowers, but I, I would much prefer them live, you know. There are prizes for jam. Oh, yes. Ooh. Only an audience with TV baking legend Paula Holyrood. Maybe and we can make a jam of her new book. Bread Ooh. is best. <laughs> I mean best. Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm a huge yeah. fan of her. B -b 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 -bre Bread. <laughs> what? That book sounds like just the kind of inspiration <laughs> I need. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what do you have to do to win the jam competition? Anyone can enter. You just need to bring a jar with sweet flavor, vibrant color, and perfectly preserved fruit. Sugar? Flavor? Okay, hold, hold on, let me hear that again. What do you have Anyone, you just need to bring a jar, jar with, with sweet, sweet flavor. Vibrant color, color and perfect and fruit. Well, we have blueberries. Bye. B -b -b bye. Bye. <laughs> it's great for preserving. Wait, we're not using formaldehyde. On hold on, I, I need to check. I need to combine them in something. Oh my god. Wait, empty jar. Okay. Are you kidding me? We are. We're not. We're using. I need to get some fruit in it before I oh, add okay, any okay, other fair, ingredients. Fair, fair. Oh my god. Are we... I'm pretty sure formaldehyde is These toxic. These look more like grayberries. I need to give them some of the colour back first. Oh, we need to paint them blue? Oh no! Oh, I think I know where we can paint them blue. There's blue water in the toilet tank at the house. Hold on. I swear to god, if this is the solution, I'm gonna facepalm so hard. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Hold on. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, that's the the vase I was gonna look at. Let's go into the bathroom first. Let's empty that. It's empty now. Let's see. I don't want a glass of blue toilet water. Wait, can we just like? Let's get some blue back into these berries. It is! Are you- Lovely. All plump, blue and pine scented. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. Uh, extremely blue, pine scented berries. In you go. Jesus Christ! This should pet those berries up a bit. Yeah, and kill whoever's eating them. Now we need sugar. What on earth? 
Oh, you haven't seen this room. Hold on. Let me show you. See this? Legal gray area. Nice island. I'm not sure if I should even have this on my wall, though. What about this? A pirate doll. He doesn't even look like a proper pirate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. For all your ghost catching needs. An inappropriately painted hearse. That is fucking amazing. Also, non IP infringing Harry Maze doll. Yes, I know, right? I love the labyrinth. Hey, Clive. Blue. I love our little chats. It's just a lamp. It can't talk. <laughs> I am a powerful demonic force. Pardon? I reckon I've earned my school badge now. What? Oh wait, there's a bunch of Easter... What the fuck have I missed? <laughs> but you, you see what I mean, though? You see what I mean when I say it has so many references? It's amazing. Why would I need to pick it up? It looks the same as the one at Fig Hall. I guess we could add kleptomaniac to my mother's list of disturbing conditions. Can we steal it back? Yeah, Murray! I, ha I also have... Oh, I I'm surprised the user hasn't used it yet. I have a redemption point redemption that plays the Murray laugh with a gif from the game. <laughs> Why would I need to pick it up? Oh, I guess we're not... <sighs> Why would I need... Okay, I guess we don't need it. That's fine. Uh... I, I'm gonna assume we still can't get into the... <laughs> oh, nice one. We still need... I think we need sugar. Let's go to... <laughs> Let's go to the shop, maybe. Maybe to the shop. Maybe something sugary. Yeah, it could be off. Sweets. Manufactured by Toothrot Inc. Uh, I don't think I can get it though without paying for it. I would highly recommend it. It's not that expensive even when not on sale. Like, it's $15.99, I think, in my region. So it's, it's not too bad. Turnip puffs. They, there's so many references. It, it's amazing. I love it. Where do I get, like, I need sugar. Where would I get sugar? Like, proper sugar sugar. Manufactured by Toothrot Inc. A selection of pastel sugar flavored sugar coated with sugar. Maybe we can take um I don't need to weigh out any sweets. Can I I don't fancy any pick and mix. Okay, so that's not it. How do we get the sugar for our uh... They're well preserved, but it's not sweet enough for jam. Yeah. How do we get the sugar for this? Yeah, that's what made me think maybe that would be the next ingredient, which doesn't really make sense, but, you know. Um... Hold on. That doesn't need any half-made jam. No. Not it. Um... Pick and mix, where penny sweets cost pounds. Sweets. Opal flutes. Well, we were all promised Easter eggs. Mm. Vodka? Russia's most popular nerve agent. Nerve agent. <laughs> okay. Um. These seem to be a recurring theme. I don't think I can do anything with that. I don't want to mess with the... Okay, where do we get sugar, though? 
I know what I, I, I need something sweet But what can we use to sweeten that? They can strip a corpse of all its flesh and fur in record time Mhm mm yeah, yeah, no, the, the, no, I, I I was thinking the same thing, really, uh, so it's not an issue. Um, what can we do? What can we use to make this sweet? What about the... Uh, floss stall. Can I get some candy floss? I don't have any money. Ah. Uh, hmm. Sweet clouds. How would we get? Hold on. Oh right, get the visitor pass. I think we might need to sleep because she she has she enters the dream state. Wait, maybe we can use it. I I'll do that later. Hold on. Let's let's first go inside to our bedroom and see if anything happens when we go to sleep cuz I think last time we got stuck we sold it by going to bed. If I don't add any inspiration into my dream box. Oh, oh I right. Never mind. I don't mind. want it influencing me while I sleep. Okay, okay. Hold on. Um Let's, uh, let's, this is where all let's try I'll just that. Just get my pajamas on. Let's try it. Yeah, I know it's so many references though. That's I was I was losing my shit last time when I started playing this. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Hmm. Where do I get sugar? It's covered in powerful runes. Hmm. Where would I get sugar? Also, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I've been streaming for an hour and 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Hopefully we'll, we'll figure out how to get the sugar. And then hopefully not poison the vicar with chat. Uh, but yeah, I'll be right back. They're sleeping peacefully. Right. This one's surely sleeping pe peacefully. So is this one. Um. Um. Let's see how this goes. We're on to episode four, and I have extra horns on today for extra horny. Never mind. Never mind my brain. Okay. Let's let's go. <laughs> hey what's <laughs> Swear to God, what is wrong with me? Okay. Holy heck. I mean I can jump. You know, I clear a whole fucking area without dying and then I jump to my death. That that is that is poetic. Oh. The Neil. You jinxed it. No, get away from me. Ugh. I'm getting the sh the shivers from this. I fucking hate spiders so much. Oh. Oh, oh no, we're probing again. Don't probe yourself, Foster. <laughs> if you could give the transporter just enough juice, please. Let's not call it juice. You went Whatever. there. It's it wasn't me for once. Story. You went okay. there. But would you mind looking the other way? Oh, of for course. fuck's sake. At least he's not probing your wife. You almost done? Don't look. Sorry. It's uh not doing anything. You don't say, Foster. It's been wiped clean. 
decommissioned. Performance anxiety, dude. That is a giant dildo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, at least it has a flared base! I'm back. Let's see if we can solve this. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't go to the kitchen because the kitchen's locked. The only place in the house I can think of that has more stuff in it uh, is the bathroom? It's where we dyed the... Um, it's where we dyed the... Oh, you're joking. I'm gonna try something. It's... it's... It... Oh, no worries, Eevee. I, I'm loving this game. Like, the sense of humor just scratches the right itch. I love a, a good uh, point-click adventure game that has a good sense of humor. And also, the logic in this game ma usually makes sense, in, in a way. You, you know, it's not like... None of the solutions so far have been too out there, if, if you know what I mean. Like, if you think about it, you'll figure it out. Because I've, I've played some games where that was a bit... Yeah. Oh, Moon Logic. They, they mentioned Moon Logic earlier. <laughs> the the uh, the church we went to, uh, the, uh, the, the, the pa patron saint of Moon Logic. <laughs> Amazing. Anywho, hold on. Let, let's see if this actually works. I want to see if that this works. You never know when you might need a tasty headache cure. Oh, wait! The vicar has a headache! Oh my god! Are you kidding? You're kidding me. This should make it taste a bit sweeter. Okay, I'm happy with my effort. I wonder if it would stand a chance in the Village Fates jam competition. Well, we're about to find out. No, but seriously, this 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 is so much fun. Also, can I try to use the the loo? I don't need to go. Aww. Oh well. I mean, it is technically a preserve. I mean, it's formaldehyde. <laughs> Do you mind if I enter my special jam special into the competition? Jam. Of course. The more, the merrier. Thank you. My name's Luce, uh, Lloyd. Nice to meet you, Lucer Lloyd. Lucer Lloyd? <laughs> oh, please don't die. Please don't die. My heavens. How utterly divine. The bluest blueberries. A hint of fresh pine. And my headache is gone. First prize goes to Lucer Lloyd. Well done. Jesus Christ, man, that is... Uh-oh. Oh, is he, is he in the loo? I feel sorry for that poor to loo outside. Oh, no! I won first I did, It wasn't me this time. Highly emetic preserve. Highly emetic. Yay, I won. I do hope the vicar's okay. A jammy mess. That is nasty. Not as nasty as those cakes! Question mark. Oh my god, is that amazing. Hello. Ah, another fan. I'm not a fan, I almost killed the vicar and I'm after a copy of your new book. Yeah. I never miss an episode of Great Great British, British Cake Off! Of course you don't, darling. Did you see what happened to the vicar? He was covered in purple gunge and locking himself in the portaloo. Not the portaloo. Did I miss something? <laughs> Actually, it's probably best that you don't know. Can I have a copy of your book? Oh no, sweetie. This copy's reserved for the that winner would be of me. the jam competition. I won the jam competition. You'll have to prove it if you want a copy of my book. Signed copies are very desirable. How are they now? Okay, hold bye, on. I have, bye. I have the, I have the, I have proof. Look, I won the jam competition. 
Well, aren't you a clever girl? Does your mother bake? Does pouring napalm down rabbit holes count? I'm sorry. Nothing. I'm uh, self-taught. Yeah. Well, it sounds like your jam absolutely killed them out there today, honey. Oh, God, Here's don't put prize. it that way. I hope it inspires you to keep on baking. <laughs> That's probably not oh, a brilliant man. Idea, this is some of the most this is the most fun I've had with a game since I streamed Paradigm. That was also a fun one. And that game also had Day of the Tentacle references in it. Bread is best. Inspire the Baker in You by Paula Hollyrood. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Um Well, uh, I guess we can... Can I pick up this monstrosity? There's no way I'm putting that <laughs> in my dream box. Amazing. I think he's best left alone. Oh wait, we haven't been to the local police tent yet. Pickington Police Station Swag Grab. I'm sorry, what? Wanted tits! Look! <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, those tend to be pretty wanted. Uh, I'm sorry. Imagine all the dirty secrets hidden in there. You're not wrong. The vicar's got a whole drawer to himself. Oh no. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. How does this auction work? Just take a seat when you're ready and start bidding. Minimum bid is a pound, though. Bye. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, so we goodbye. Need, we need money. Okay, let's, let's look at some... Seize property. What kind of crimes involve a cup of tea? You've obviously never been around when someone puts the milk in first. Wow. Monsters. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Some people make their tea in a microwave. Or microwave it once it gets cold. Those are the monsters. Ropes, candlesticks, lead piping. It's all here. Amazing. Ooh, megaphone. <laughs> Typical Netty playing. <laughs> oh, I'm having a lot of fun. Cool. A stuffed pigeon? Assorted case files. Uh, no touching. If you want to see inside it, you'll have to bid for it. Assorted swag. It's a pirated video game about pirates. Amazing. Perfect for police interviews. Ooh, cassette player. There's also a box of cassettes at the uh, volunteer shop. Keep that in mind. It's a box full of stolen boxes. Handcuffs! Oh. A violin! One of the strings has snapped off. Powered by Windows 2.9. 2.9. Oh my god. It's a bunch of offensive weapons. <laughs> Not as offensive as the little gits we confiscated them off. Wow. Okay, let, let's go. Let's go. Um... Where was I gonna go? Oh, right, right. Uh, let's put this into Good the... idea, but I need to find a suitable place Oh, for yeah, the box right. First. Hold on. I need to place it down first. Also, I still feel like I'm missing stuff. Mm, have I tried using this thing? Have I, like, maybe there's. I don't need to throw anything away. I mean, you could throw this away. I'll put it all in the bin where it belongs. Oh, actually, you can? If this was a Sierra adventure, I'd at least have got some bloody points for that. <laughs> Fuck me! Oh, the references in this are amazing. I fucking love this. So, we have a penny. Wait, what do we... What do we use a penny for? Lucky. Lucky. What can I 
use a penny for? Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's go back to the house and try and sleep now that we have the other. Uh, the other stuff. Uh, and we'll see if we can solve something in our dream. Okay, let's see. And let's put this in there the box. There we go. And let's sleep. I'm supposed to add a companion to my dream box. Oh, first. a companion! Or I could pick it up if I don't want it influencing oh, me while I sleep. Oh, a companion! Shoot. I mean, I guess I don't know if I can. Maybe. This is where all hell Let, breaks let's, loose. Let's, let's try. I'll just dip my pajamas on. Might not be the right thing to do, but we'll, we'll see. It looks like that baking book has delivered on inspiration. But is there anything here that can help me with that monster in my hmm. nightmare? An imposing pastry box. The An imposing the pastry? It's a physical manifestation of... Hey, what do you think of this place? A place I have literally probably no smells idea amazing. what's happening. One minute I'm hanging from a rope in a nightclub, and the next I'm surrounded by giant pastries. It's all getting a little much if I'm being brutally honest. This guy is still giving Hi. me a... Uh... Oh, can I stop talking now? Wow, this guy's still giving me the vibes I got from uh, the sad little robot in Hitchhiker's Guide for, uh, to the Galaxy. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, when you get into the uh, bathroom, there's a towel on the rack, and, and if, you, if, if you click on it, the, the, she comments and makes a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> they look very brittle, but not in a useful way. Ooh. Ooh, giant sprinkles. There's a strong easterly breeze. Welcome to Bachester, home of the love bun. Please love knock. Bun? A love bun? Pumpkin seed spelt and honey. Very mm. posh. It's got a hatch in it for answering riddles and such. Knock, knock. What do you want? What is a Bachester love bun? What's a Bachester love bun? I'll tell you when you're inside. Why is it so windy here? Beats me. The weather is out of our control. What is this place? Welcome, traveler. You have found yourself on the steps of the illustrious city of Bachester. There aren't any steps. You're instantly unlikable. You know that. I'd like to come in. Oh, they all do. Okay. Then they all try to steal the secret recipe from our famous love bombs. The kind high <laughs> Batmaster put me in charge of this mighty Oh my god. Gate. The it won't be happy. easy to get past me. Let me guess. I have to answer a riddle. Go on then. Smart ass. Let's see if you've been paying attention. Oh god. Here's my riddle. Two bombs are arguing. One loses his head completely, and the other one runs away. What color stripes were their matching ties? Uh Green and purple. Boca. I suppose I have to let I you know. I got it right! I saw a green and purple tie earlier. Panini? <gasps> oh, not the booger. Holy crap. Have you enjoyed a love bun today? Have I enjoyed a what now today? He guards the city with obscure questions. Don't take the piss. The flip flops! Amazing! They're swapping stickers. Panini, stickers, cards, and action figures. Amazing. 
So, tell me more about the love buns. Do you know anything about the Bapchester <laughs> love buns? Yes, <laughs> well, stay away from them. Really? Why? I almost lost everything I had because of those bloody things. How? They bring out my worst side. They make you aggressive. Worse. Oh, what did I say? Generous. <laughs> I ate a whole packet of them one morning. Too many love buttons. And spent the rest of the day giving away all my bloody stock. Never again. How are you feeling today? Hungry, but not particularly generous. Uh, okay. I'd like some stickers, please. Oh, I bet you would. Only That's you don't look mean. particularly solvent. How do you intend to pay? Uh. Thought so. Hmm. As luck would have it, I have some free beginner packs to get people hooked. <clears throat> I mean, started. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Take some of these model paints, too. That's very kind of you. Oh, yeah, I'm all hot. Yeah, uh huh. Nice sticker albums. Thanks. Are you a fan of the adventures of He-Nan? He-Nan? Is that well, a He-Man reference? Isn't. Everyone's collecting my stickers now. Everyone? Big Dad live well, tour. Nearly everyone. Oh my I even God. export them beyond Bapchester. Bapchester? Are you kidding me? That is fucking amazing. <laughs> Do you export your stickers too? Far and wide. Anywhere the import duties allow. Exporting was a lot simpler before Trexit! Trexit! All the trolls of Bapchester decided they would rather go down. That's why we built the wall and guard our gate 24-7. Oh was my god, it? yes. It's a small price to pay. Is it really? Apart from all the higher prices we have to pay. <laughs> Nice figures. Thanks. There's some good reference. Each one is handcrafted from a solid block of sugar. They're incredibly durable. Just keep them out of the way of the rain, ants, and fire. Fire? Yeah, sugar burns at a ridiculously high temperature. I learned that the hard way. I used to have a full oh, no. head. Nice stickers. Thanks. It's the reflective silver ones reflective that everyone silver. Wants, But you usually have to trade mm. your way up to those. Okay, I see. Goodbye. Yep. It's a poster for a troll boy band with tall hair. Those are me four brothers. They're leaving me to go on their world tour. Why aren't you in the band? His hair is tall. I used to be. A few years back. Hair like mine was all the rage. Everyone wanted to see our floppy curtains bouncing about in the spotlights. But then everything changed. Soft, yielding hair was out, and stiff, rigid hair was the only thing the fans cared about. The taller, the better. Oh my. It looks like your brothers all managed to change their hair. Should they do it with industrial hair gel? But I can't use it. It brings me out in a rash. They have international stardom. And all I have is a cold metal pole to lean on. I There's thought he was gonna pole. say to dance on. I thought he was gonna say to dance on. <laughs> Shit. Hey, Mushroom. Thanks for the sub. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, this game is killing me. This, there are so many references. Ah. <laughs> hey, you. Who we know? You. How are you doing, by the way? Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Bake that. Bake that. Right. They're a cheap set, but they'd add a splash of colour to something in an emergency. It's sticky, but not very rare. I mean, can I paint it to make it rare? I don't want to deface my stickers. Mm. Yeah, a little, maybe a little bit. It looks Kite. like a massive slice of bread with a hole in it. Knock knock, who's there? Oh 
Oh, fuck's sake, Charlotte. <laughs> I was gonna enable the uh, be boozled, but my stomach's a little bit upset today and I didn't want to end up having to eat a stink bug flavored one and make myself feel sick. So no be boozled today, but you know, I'm doing great. I mean, I didn't sleep well last night, but I'm really enjoying this game right now. I don't know how long I'll be streaming today, just because I, I literally slept for like two hours last night. Uh, I, I did I did take a nap, mind you. I, I took a nap after work. But um, uh, other than that, I'm doing okay. I just couldn't fall asleep last night. It's okay. My sleep schedule has been a little bit messed up. It looks complicated. It's an invention of my own making. Static electricity is generated, making it spin around. He's doing the a same. Real time saver in the kitchen. I call it the self electrifying is that danger reference? bowl. So a lot of them do. Same movements. <laughs> Marketing is my strong suit. Marketing, huh? Toaster. I've not seen a flying toaster for a few years. I got the idea for it when an apple fell on my head. Oh, come on! An apple fell on his head. That's another reference. Was that Newton? He's quite cute in a dead-eyed metallic kind of way. He is proficient in over 30 forms of lethal combat and can break a man's neck in less than a nanosecond. Okay. Which is weird because I programmed him to knit. It's like the plasma ball in my bedroom, but bigger. They're mm. plasma flies. I only keep them around because they make my lab look more impressive. Oh, hi, Laura. Yes, I will. I will check my posture. Also, I'm gonna take a stretch. Oh my god. Let me do a stretch because I am actually kind of. Oh. How are you doing? Yes, big stretch. Yeah, posture is definitely there. Uh, this game is amazing. It's so fucking funny. There's so many, de so many references to like other video games and pop culture and stuff, and like they made a joke out of Brexit. <laughs> uh, and then there's <laughs> there's a boy band called Bake That. Uh, they, there was a reference to the Great British Bake Off, and they uh, called it the Great British uh, Cake Off, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, Brexit is already a joke, yeah, you're right, but, you know. That reminds me of, like, when I was playing The Will of Arthur Flabbington a few months ago, and there was the joke about the lettuce, uh, which I'm pretty sure was a reference to Liz Truss, who was Prime Minister for, like, 40-something days. She was, she became prime minister right, right around the time the queen died. Uh, oh, cabbage would be a good reference for uh, the avatar. It looks no, like it, a it was a head of lettuce. With a hole in it. Uh, I think. What's, What's wrong? wrong? My kite's got a hole in it. Aww. That's a kite. But like either way, it was the head of something, it of <laughs> and it outlasted but her. When the wind's this strong, it can still fly pretty well when it doesn't have a hole in it. Can I help? If you can find a way to fix my kite, I'll show you how well it flies. Good Fix her Goodbye. kite. Okay, we'll, we'll try. Uh, let's talk to the younger trolls. She looks engrossed in her stickers. What about this one? Hello there. Hello there. Huh? Enjoying your stickers? Oh what? yeah, very funny. Is that your sister? What? Shall I just leave you alone then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Flagpole. There's some wire tied between these poles. I guess it's for time flags too. Hmm. Right. It's a bakery. Poor oh, smells of freshly baked bread in oh, here. Oh, bread. Ooh, free samples. 
I'll take one. Ooh. Guaranteed to create a temporary feeling of love and compassion. It has a very distinctive heart design on the top. Love and compassion. Hmm. Okay, let's let's uh let's see. It bakes bread and heats the room. It's only putting out a low heat at the moment. I mean, okay. Uh what about it looks like some kind of high-tech security system. For buns? It's seen lots of bun action. Oh, has it now? It's seen a lot of bun action. Wink, wink. There was also... <laughs> uh, there was also... Oh, I don't know what Fallen did, because he, 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 he made me worried by saying he clipped something and made voice lines or something. Because I was going on about tits earlier for like a full two minutes because they were in the game. So, um... Yeah. Also, <laughs> one of the solutions earlier in the game, we had blueberries. And they weren't blue enough. So we dyed them in blue toilet water. Amazing. It smells lovely in here. It does, doesn't it? It's my most powerful marketing tool. If I need to increase sales, I just crack open oh, the window and let the smell fresh out. Bread. Customers can smell it for fresh miles person. around. Why don't you just leave the window open all the time? Were you born in a barn? It's yeah, too bloody windy out there. <sighs> Do you make the love buns? That is the responsibility of the Grand High Bap Master. Bap. That's me. The recipe is a closely guarded secret. Is it now? Down from Batmaster to Batmaster. Nice oven. It's precisely calibrated. <laughs> Grandmaster Bat lunch. <laughs> Even the slightest change to the settings or fuel makes a huge difference. So don't muck about with it. Mm. So there was a stand uh, with the sign throwing game on it. And I was like, oh look, Overwatch. <laughs> What's the secret recipe? Really? You think it's going to be that simple? I would laugh at it if it was. Are the love buns powerful enough to work on terrifying nightmare monsters? That's quite specific. But I don't see why not. If the bun was large enough, the ones I sell are only big enough for the local trolls. Couldn't you make a larger one for me? I could, but I'm not going to. It would use up all of my love buns data. Not the. L what the hell was that? Huh. I didn't hear anything. I have questions about what you put in those love buns. What exactly is your love bun starter? Hmm. What's a love bun starter? It's a living sourdough mix that I use as the base for all of my love buns. Then I add a few simple ingredients mm -hmm. to it, which makes them work perfectly on trolls. Do they only work on trolls? My recipe only works on trolls, but Can it could be, be adjusted to work on just about anything. Okay, come on, you must have heard it that time. I don't know what you're talking <sighs> about. Could you open the window? Only when I'm ready to lure in more customers. Or if it gets too hot in here. If it gets too hot in here, okay. Can I have a bun? There are some free love bun samples in the corner. But the effects don't last long. Ooh, can I give it to you? Effects. Her? They fill you with an overwhelming feeling of compassion and all-round fuzziness. But, like I said, the effects from those samples don't last long. How long? Oh, it depends who's eating it. Maybe uh, 15 seconds at the most. Damn. Bye. Toodaloo. She has all she needs. 
Okay, um, hmm. I already have one. Right. Hey! Can, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think you were watching. Well, I was. So leave it alone. <laughs> well, I have to try. I don't want it getting too hot in here. It's getting hot in here. And why is there a disemboweled teddy bear following me? Well, my brother... Uh... So this is a dream, right? This is an actual, like, teddy bear she sewed up. Because her brother... Uh, tried to mutilate it and uh, give it... It, a third leg, so to speak. So uh, we had to fix it. Now he's my, he's our dream companion. Mm. Oh, that's the end of the. Uh... Oh, well, maybe we can give give one to him. What are you trying to do? Yes. Soften Is it me working? Up. I know a love bum when I see you on. Oh, hold on. Maybe. Hold on. I have an idea. Let's give this bun a makeover. Yes. What a work of art. It looks like someone threw up on it, but. I got you this. It's not a love bun, is it? No. It looks nothing like a love bun, because it isn't one. Amazing. Fine. Give it here, then. Oh, that feels nice. It makes me feel all generous. Oh, good lord. Compassionate. Master Baker's apparently... I think I'd rather have... I don't think I can afford the... Oh, don't say... Look, don't tell anyone, but you can have oh my God, yes. for nothing if you like. Go on, off you go. Don't say Panini never did anything for you. Thanks. Here, you can have these paints back. I won't need them. Amazing. Keep away from rain, ants and fire. Goodbye. Yep. Stickers. It's sticky, but not very rare. Hold on, can I use the sticker to fix the what kite? What do you want me to do? Put it... Oops, sorry. Um... I reckon this might fix there it. There we go. Hey, that's caught the wind pretty well. Oh my god, Fallen. <laughs> we can make it go even higher too. Just ask and I'll show you. Yeah, do it. That's some impressive flying for a slice of bread. Thanks! I can make it fly higher or lower if I want to. Can you make it go higher? Let me see. I just need to be careful of the overhead wires. If the wind changes direction, they can get caught Ooh. and let it out of it. Can you make it change direction too? No. That all depends on the wind, and that's out of my control. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Aha! Window, huh? It's closed. Okay. Keep away from rain, ants, and fire. Hmm. Wonder what we can do with that. It generates static electricity. Static Wait. Maybe he can... Is that metal pole comfortable? Not can really, we make it... But I'm a born leader, make him elect so electrify? Goodbye. Maybe we can See electrify him, but how would we change the wind direction, though? Oh. It's like the plasma ball in my bedroom, but bigger. There are plasma flies. I only keep them around because they Hold on. I have an idea, I just don't know how to execute it. <laughs> this game is... Yeah. 
Blow, children. Blow. blow. Okay, hold on. Can Let's see what or? happens if it goes. I'll mail it in a bit. So it just goes here. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have an idea. I think I might need to electrify this guy to make his uh, hair stand up. But I'm not sure. Do you want to swap any stickers? No. I don't collect them after one got stuck to me and pulled half of my fur out. Oh yeah, I remember that. Bye. Oh, can I stop talking now? Yeah, I want his hair to stand up. It's a poster for a troll boy band with tall hair. I still feel like I need to- this is self-electrifying danger ball. It generates static electricity. So I think he either could touch this, or maybe we can use the kite to have lightning strike him somehow? I don't know. No, thank you. Just keep that thing away from me, Oven. Oh, hold on. That would certainly warm the room up, but I'll need to open the oven door first. Ooh. It looks more like a prison than a safe. Strong bread flour. A good old fashioned flattenator. Flatternator. Okay, can I pick any of these? I up? don't need to flatten anything. Hmm. I don't need any flour. Rolls. A load of bread rolls. Hot rolls. Hmm. It looks very secure. Interesting. She's in charge of bum production. I don't need any more of them. Okay, so no, no more. And I can't go up to the window, can it's I? It's keeping the delicious bready smell trapped okay, inside. Okay, what to do? Because I feel I have an idea what to do. Hold on, let, let's go outside. I don't know if I finished talking to everyone. You don't look very well. You don't look very well. <laughs> all right, Mushroom, thanks for stopping by. To all the gluten. So idiots. Oh no. What's your name? My friends call me Brock. Brock. Can I call you Brock? I'll give you two guesses. Yes. One guess left. Aww. Hi, Brock. Don't do that. <laughs> uh... Oh, you know what? I think I know how we can change the direction of the wind. I think I know. Hold on. Goodbye. Goodbye. I think we need to Thank leave the you. dream. For chatting. For leaving. Damn, dude. Okay. It's the barman's own special. I think I know how to change it. I think we need to turn the fan in real life. See what I mean? Hold on. There we go. Let's uh, go back to bed. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. It's so much fun. All right, let's uh, let's see. Can you make it go higher? Let me see. I just need to be careful of the overhead wires. If the wind changes direction, they can get caught. I'll let it out a bit. Oh. Oh, I think I might that. need to. Hold on. I think I need to combo this somehow. Uh. Maybe. I'm thinking, how can I get the kite to, um... This might take me a few tries. I have an idea, I'm just not sure if I'm doing it the right- uh, doing the right thing. Combo! Yes. Yes! There we go! It 
it generates static electricity. And I think I need to do it again. Hold on. I think I need to change the direction one more time and it might electrify the guy. Maybe. Maybe? Oh, I hope I didn't fuck it up. No, I think I fucked it up. Hold on. Hold on, let's try that again. I think I know what to do, kind of. Can you make it go lower? But... Let me see. I'll reel it in a bit. But I'm not entirely sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Because I think I need to do some combo stuff to make it touch this and this. Hold on. Can you make it go higher? Let me see. I just need to be careful of the overhead wires. If the wind changes, I'll let it... Okay, hold on. Goodbye. Let's Goodbye. see. Because I think I, I have an idea. I think it's the right idea. It's just I don't know exactly the combination. I need to make it work. But I'm sorry. Like, it, this is probably one of those things that are super obvious. And I'm just... Fucking it up somehow. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track, though. There's some wire tied between these poles. I guess it's for time flags, too. It generates static electricity. I mean... I don't know. How do I make the machine... How do I make that go the right way? Hmm. Well, at least I figured out I can use the fan. Uh, so, you know. We'll see. Yeah, definitely not it. Can you make it go lower? Let me see. I'll we be need to... in a bit. Goodbye. Hold goodbye. on, let me see. Only fan. Yeah, it is it's an only fan. Uh right, let's talk to this guy again. See what we can do. Is there any other way? Tried everything I can think of. Maybe modern science will find a way. Yeah, so but it until is until then I'm going nowhere. It is what I think. If I could help you achieve taller hair, what's in it for me? I know what you're getting at. You're after valuable stickers, right? Uh. Tell you what, I have a pretty rare one in me back pocket. Excuse it's me, all sir. Yours if you can help me out with me floppy do. That's better than nothing, I suppose. You have a prize for me in your pocket if I can help you with your floppy problem. I'm sorry. What? Sure. Goodbye. See you later. God damn it, there's something. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I, I over I overcomplicated now. that way too much. Hold on. I have to activate it. Can you make it go higher? Let me see. I just need to be careful of the overhead wires. If the wind changes direction. I'll let it out. Okay, let's try that again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hold on, I think I, I I had it earlier. I just forgot I had to activate the machine. It's that that's a thing. But yeah, yeah. Let's let's try that. Oh my god. We we we'll get this. I think 
I did it the wrong way around. But we'll, we'll try. Okay. Oh no, never Whoa, mind. What Got it. Lift. Wait for me, brothers. I'm coming on tour. Oh Here, take my this. god. I will need it when I'm going. I think I'll turn it off now. Yeast man. This one's got to be more valuable than the sticky <laughs> hey, from Jones. the starter pack. This one's got to be more valuable than the sticker from the starter pack. Oh, uh, what can we do with it though? How am I doing? I'm doing okay. I didn't have a lot of uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but I'm really enjoying this game today. Don't know how long I'll be streaming for because yeah, I, I barely slept last night, but I, I've had so much fun with this today. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me see. No returns. Wait, he's not, maybe 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 she's into it. No, thank you. I'm too busy for stick a well, one of them must need it. Hold on. Hmm. He looks a current short of a bun. I don't have time for games. I don't have time for games. I still think he's a reference to Stan from Monkey Island because just how there was a <laughs> there's so many references and references in this game. I don't even think I'm getting all of them. Okay, hold on. Maybe he wants one? Whoa, where did you find a yeast man? I'll train it for your batter cat. Hey, don't try to rip her off. Oh, fine. Here, I'll train my man at barns. That's more like it. Man at barns? I'm gradually working my way up the sticker ladder. Nah, if I wanted him, I would have just nicked it for my brother earlier. Hey! I'm after a super rare evil Brit sticker. Evil? I've never seen one around here. I trade my Cobito for it. Wait, hold on, maybe he does. Hmm, I think everyone around here already has one of those. You might have to go further afield to trade it. Further afield? Field. I'm gradually working my way up the sticker hmm. ladder. Thanks, but I don't collect them. Maybe she wants this one? No, thank you. I'm too busy for... Wait, what the heck? Who, who wants this? They're swapping stickers. No returns. Okay, so what do I do with this one? He doesn't want it, none of them. No thanks, I'm happy with the trade. Hmm. They don't collect them after one got stuck. Oh yeah. Okay, what else? Am I missing? Is there anyone else? Um. Welcome to Bachester, hmm. home of the Love Bun. Please knock. Right, I'm trying to think. It's the barman's own special. Okay, let's wake up and let's see if maybe. Maybe we can use these in the in the nightmare somehow. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gradually working my way up the sticker ladder. Keep away from rain, ants, and fire. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to like. 
how would we use this? Because I don't see... Did we miss anyone here that can trade it? Because I think we've tried him, right? Hmm, I think everyone around here already has one of those. You might have to go further afield to trade it. Further afield? Hold on. Well, let, let's try that. At least they're swapping stickers and not sticks. Well, true. Can I go back into the old dream? Okay, I'll pick it up again. There we go. I'm now carrying it again. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh. Well, I suppose this counts as inspiration. I'll take the other one out. Okay, let's let's try that. I guess. Uh, see if uh, maybe we can travel between dreams. Is that man of arms? I'd love to trade uh, him. I was right! Breath sticker. Here you go. Noise. It's the rare sticker I got from the barman in the comedy club. Yes! See, I was right! Okay, let's uh, let's go back to the other dream, I guess. Uh hold on. Use the baking book. There we go. And then go back to bed. I don't have anything I could trade for that. It's really rare. Ooh, what about him? I only need one to complete my set. And it's not that one. Okay, maybe the girl. Hold on. <gasps> That's evil breath! Please, trade it for my favorite Kobato sticker. Ooh. I think this one's pretty rare. Let's see. Do you need this one? Yes, that's a Kaboso! Here, take my pride and joy. The Silver Skeletor Tilla. Take good care of him for me. Finally, I got a silver sticker. It's highly, highly reflective. Okay, highly reflective. What do I need to reflect? doesn't need a shiny sticker. He looks a current short of a bun. Something reflective. Hmm. No, thank you. I'm too. What would I use something reflective with? That doesn't need a shiny sticker. Something reflective. Um. I don't have time. Let's see, what would. What, what do they say about this one? That's amazing! I don't have anything worth that much. Maybe he. No return. No. Thanks, but I'm happy with the stickers I have. What do we do with this, though? You hang on to that bad boy. Okay, but like, what do I do with it? How do I solve that thing? <gasps> oh my god, okay, I've been alive for two hours. I might call it a day here, just because I think my brain's starting to not brain. Oh, this was so much fun. So many jokes. I'm loving this. I'm gonna be playing more of this probably on Saturday. Uh, and then the next stream is gonna be more heavy rain. Hold on. Let me save. Uh, and I will just quickly see if we can raid someone. 
because uh, I'm I think my brain has stopped braining and I need a break so I'll continue this next time uh, I'm like I said really having a lot of fun with this so Ooh, I see someone who also tends to stream a lot of adventure games and let's go rate them And again, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to playing more. I'm actually looking forward to the next game this the developer is working on. <laughs> Cause this this was a ton of fun. Anywho, good night.